What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. We're on LB the show, but this is not about LB the show. This is about the Mets, man. And I have a lot to discuss about the Mets as a Mets fan. And I know a lot about baseball. I've been playing since seven. I've been watching baseball since I was like six. So I know a lot about baseball. I know a lot about the Mets. And now the question is, will the Mets make playoffs? Everybody wants to know. Um, as you can see with the Stroman trade and the keepings of Zach Wheeler and Syndergaard, it looks like the Mets are really trying to make playoffs. And not only that, they're five on a five-game win streak. But this is the one thing I'm, I'm kind of upset about as a Mets fan. Um, so we didn't get rid of Diaz. I know a lot of people are saying Diaz is still good. Diaz is one of the best closers. But listen, as a baseball fan, as a Mets fan, if you have a guy going up, like last night's game, if you watched it... Um, the dude didn't throw any strikes. Like, it was just so tough to watch, man. Dude, he hit a guy, and then they scored on a wild pitch. Oh, no, they advanced runners on a wild pitch. And not only that, then they got the sack fly. But, I mean, at least he didn't blow the game. But if you have a closer that's that iffy in baseball, why would you want to keep him? And I just don't understand. Oh, my God, my face cam was messed up the whole time. I just don't understand. Why would you want to keep a guy like that that's disrupting the team in my opinion it's just like why why would you keep a guy like that um also i want to talk about this when he was bad when edwin diaz he, he came into mlb pitching actually very well but edwin diaz actually had a very big slump causing him to um edwin diaz had a very big uh slump causing him to move to the triple a so he started off pretty good he moved to the AAA, came back up, did amazing uh, with the Mariners, had a 60-something save se season or a 60-save season. Um, not after that, he comes to the Mets and he pitches terribly. So why are the Mets keeping him? I mean, we do need bullpen help, but clearly, I just feel like he doesn't even want to be on the mound anymore. Like, I don't I don't know, just something about Diaz. Just We need to change Diaz. Like, watching him pitch is just atrocious. When he's on the mound, we all get the jitters. We're like, yo, is he going to close the game? But it's not only that. We haven't had a good closer in years. To be honest, as a Mets fan, I'm going to say put Robert Gazel Gazelman as closer. I feel like it's just good for us. I feel like he's one of our more consistent pitchers. I feel like Diaz has not. He can't be a closer anymore for the Mets. He blew too many games. We literally shake. He had another game, uh, I think right after All-Star break. He had the bases loaded or something. And, like, he just gets the bases on too much. He has to control his pitches. He needs to regroup and resettle. What else I want to talk about is the Mets want to make playoffs. We got to just keep on playing, keep on doing what we're doing. Um, But some things that I'm kind of upset about is, um, during the trade deadline is I feel like we could have got rid of Dom Smith. I feel like Dom Smith has a lot of value. We're not really going to use him. I feel like he's a terrible left fielder. And with Pete Alonso in first base, that's locked. We have a third baseman in Todd Frazier who's old and who's absolutely terrible. So think about it. If Todd Frazier is like, I just don't like Todd Frazier. He's just not as good as he used to be it's like since the Reds. So it's a couple years, like he's okay. He's like decent, but I don't know. Also, Cano has been playing terrible. He's like old for his last 21. Do you guys like want to see Cano with that huge contract on the team and that age? I really don't. I don't know. This is the way I'm seeing it. So right now we have our big three is McNeil, Pete, and Conforto, which for the future is very good. But I feel like during the trade deadline, we needed to have that one big signing or one big trade that did not happen. Not saying get rid of Syndergaard, not saying get rid of Wheeler, but with that Strowman trade, the Mets are really trying to make playoffs. They're five games out of the wild card, which isn't a lot at all. We're versing really crappy teams uh, over the next, what, two weeks, three weeks? This is who we're versing. We're versing, let's see, who are the Mets versing? We got the White Sox, who are awful, um, literally atrocious. We got the White Sox. We got, um, let's see, we got the White Sox. We got the Padres, actually. Um... Wait, no, 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 no. 
We got the White Sox. We got... Who else we got? We got the White Sox. We got the Pirates. So, those are two trash teams. Like, I mean, awful teams. We got the Marlins. Awful. So, our next three series are golden. We, at, we have to go at least... One, two, three, four, five. We have to at least win two out of three games in each series minimum um, to be, like, fire. If we could somehow go on a 10-game win streak, that would be insane. We're on a five right now. Tonight's a big game. I'm really hoping we win. We got the Marlins. After the Marlins, this is the big series right here. After the Marlins, we have the Nationals. So, versing the Nationals, if we could somehow sweep them or win two out of three, that will move us in the wild card spot big time. We could literally... If we keep winning, that could literally be the wild card right there. That is the biggest series. After them, we versus the Braves, which is going to be tough because the Braves are insane. They just got two relievers that are going to help them. They're really probably going to do really good in playoffs. They're, they have the division clinch, bro. The Braves are insane. Not after the Braves. We have the Nationals, Braves. They're tough. Then we got the Royals and then the Indians. So the Royals stink, but the Indians are eh. But so anyways, after the talk about that. Um, let's talk about the Mets in general. So, this is what we got. We got Conforto. Let's look at the lineup for tonight. Um, this is pre-recorded, by the way, so just letting you guys know. So, the lineup for tonight, this is what we got. We got Jeff McNeil first. I love that. Conforto second. Pete Alonso third. Okay. We got Cano batting fourth. Now, he's hitting 235 on the season. This is his worst season by far. It's just the Mets curse, man. We trade for a player. They have their worst season. It's like, bro, I just don't know what to talk about anymore. Like, we literally, we have the same issue every year. We get a signing. Do you guys remember when we signed Jason Bay off the 40 homer season? And he literally had 12 home runs batting like 190. It's just like, I don't even know what to say anymore. We got Todd Frazier batting 246 as our DH tonight. Um, we got J.D. Davis, who's actually very underrated. He's a he's batting 300 on the season. Very underrated. I like that. We got Rosario actually stepping up at 277 average. So, the problem really isn't our hitting. I mean, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But it's the biggest problem about the Mets, bro, is our bullpen. And we had no... We didn't make any moves for any relievers in this offseason. I mean, during this trade, trade deadline. So... What are we trying to do as a freaking team, bro? Like, realistically, if you're a Mets coach, bro, and you see our bullpen doing that bad, our starting pitching, first of all, is amazing. And you're going to see our bullpen do blow that many games. Like, if you looked at the stats, there's a stat that if, if we blew, like, 23 games, if we didn't even blow, I mean, if we only blew half the, like, 25 games we blew, we would be in first place. Like, just think about that. As a coach, as a manager, as anybody, how are you going to keep sticking with your bullpen when they blew literally like 25% of your games? Um, I just don't understand. It's like they had the guy Martin on the break. They had the Strickland out there. They had Wilson out there. They had Martin out there. And, like, all those relief pitchers are very good relief pitchers that we needed to sign, and we didn't sign any of them. Last night, the White Sox game, Diaz blew it again. Bullpen, once again, failed. Diaz is awful. If we're going to stick with Diaz, don't tip, don't even put him in the closer role. He has a home run problem. The dude has so many home runs given up. He, I just don't know what's going on with him. Maybe send him to the AAA for like two weeks, get his confidence back, but I don't know what's going on with him. He's got to step up big time. If we want to win games... Right now, what I'm excited to see is Stroman pitch on Saturday. I am a huge Stroman fan. He has a 2.95 ERA. He's like 3-11 and because the Blue Jays are trash. But with that said, we got Syndergaard pitched amazing last night. <clears throat> I think the Grom is on the mound tonight. Who's on the mound tonight? Uh, we got... Doesn't even say... DeGrom's on the mound tonight, so great game to watch. As a Mets fan, I'm excited to see DeGrom pitch. Bullpen's got to step up. But anyways, if you guys like the video, just drop, drop a like. So if you're a new Mets fan, baby, Mets all the way. I'm a huge Mets fan. Just, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. If you guys have any questions about fantasy baseball, Mets questions, uh, MLB The Show 19, Diamond Dynasty, let me know in the comment section below. Go drop the follow on my Twitter. Drop the follow on my Twitch. 
I hope you guys enjoy, man. Let's go, Mets, baby. Peace. Oh, oh.